message tonight from transportation leaders and highway police is to stay home and stay off the roads if you can. But for some Arkansans who have to work, that's not an easy message to exactly follow. Our Andrew Epperson live in Little Rock with a closer look at what drivers are facing. So, Andrew, it's just a little after 9 o'clock. How are things looking at this hour? Well, they're looking okay so far, Kevin. It's funny that you mention RDOT. For those of you out there on social media, if you follow RDOT on Twitter, they're updating the road conditions every few hours. Here in Little Rock, things are just fine, other than a few slick patches here or there that might not be the same where you live. Of course, a lot of people are out and about tonight. They have to go to work. They have to go home from work. So they're having to take extra precautions while they're out on the roads. Things are a little slow today at the Waffle House on Rebsman Park Road. Would-be customers don't want to be out on the ice, but Neil Phelan is here anyway. The one that I normally work at is on Shackleford, and I can actually walk to work, so they're going to be open. But Wednesday, Phelan's here, and he drove. Doesn't have any four-wheel drive, uh, no, and uh, has low-profile tires, so it makes it extremely hard to get out. <laughs> Many places closed early, like Fuller & Son Hardware. Several hardware stores I called Wednesday were out of ice melt by the middle of the day. Phelan says driving home will be dangerous, so he'll take extra care on the road. Every extra uh, precaution is necessary. I can tell you that. There's a lot of bad drivers, and it's only amplified in this weather. Governor Asa Hutchinson says about 80 members of Arkansas's National Guard have been called out to help state police with the highways and intersections, and they're going to be around until they are no longer needed. Kevin?